Thing to watching real life whales is staring at a massive replica. We'll tell you why one man has built one mother of a mammal. Stay with me. Flurries November. and four on Wednesday. Thanks, Susan. No tires. Thanks. You're welcome. Now for a total change of topic, Caledon is probably not the place you think of if you wanted to do some whale watching. But that's exactly where our Rob Leth found one whale of a story. It's not the kind of animal you would expect to find in a barn. But for the last month, Sean Gallia and his team of artists have been working on building this. It's a 52-foot humpback whale and uh, female. Uh, females are the larger of, of the two. And uh, it's been quite a, quite a chore at this point. And despite the sheer size of the project, no minor detail has been left out. These um, shell-like things that you're, you're looking at are actually barnacles. They, they attach themselves right to the, to the whale and, and feed off of whatever the, the whale leaves behind during its feeding. The 38-year-old was chosen for the big job because of his stunning and award-winning work as a taxidermist, a passion that began at an early age and constantly impresses his family and friends. It's just a natural ability, whether he's been sketching or you're doing the, uh, the mounts. It's, it's wonderful to see where he's progressed this uh, to, and today we see probably the best that he's done so far. Now that the whale is almost done, she's just about ready to make the long journey to her new home at an outdoor sporting goods store in Boston. But transporting this behemoth, weighing in at nearly 5,000 pounds, will be no easy task. Sunday night we'll be shrink wrapping it and getting it all ready for shipping. And uh, it'll be trucked to the U.S. Um, on a flatbed going down the 401. So I'm thrilled that we got it done in the time frame and uh, I'm excited to see it on that trailer. And perhaps the toughest part of the journey will be the beginning as they try to fit the whale through the opening of the barn. The one issue is that there's only a two inch clearance from the top of the, the whale and the, uh, the door entrance, so we might have to let some air to some tires to get it out of here. And hopefully this will be the tale of the big one that got away. Rob Leth, Global News.